All right, I wanted to talk about this uh, new system that's coming out, introducing the Analog 3D, the future is here. A reimagining of the N64 in 4K resolution, 10 times the resolution of the original N64, the first and perhaps greatest multiplayer system of all time. Analog 3D is 100% compatible with every original N64 game ever made, region free. Bluetooth LE, dual band Wi-Fi, four original style controller ports, entirely new next gen analog hardware featuring 3D OS, engineered entirely in FPGA, no emulation. So okay. I wanted to talk about this right here because this is definitely super interesting. Yo, the reason why I say that you already know my brothers, y'all already know. If that if if it's a real deal thing, I've seen this. I've seen this on IG. Yeah, this is coming. It's like a up to date sixty four. That means look. no mercy. Yeah, bro. That means that if you don't go now, if you don't go cop games right now, you're not gonna get them for a cheap price. But everybody and their mother's about to cop sixty four games just yep. to get this. Just to get this, yep. So just to get be, this. It's gonna be more impossible to get the games. But uh, thank God I got the WrestleMania joint and the archives put away. But now that I know this is coming out, I'm definitely gonna go and about I the like cops the and games. It looks kind of like Xbox. I, like yeah, like it's Xbox up to date. Like, yeah, but still it's looks up to good. Date like the look. Which one you would go? The white and black. Man, you know I'm going with the black one. Yeah, I go with the black. And it has dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so it, it should be able to go online because the Bluetooth will probably be for like the controller and then the dual band yeah. Wi-Fi should be for like online and type of network stuff. Yeah, but you can see it clearly tells you right there that there's no emulation. So you're going to have to start copying some games, people. Like, because it's, I'm telling you, them games are expensive, you see? How it looks. Them, it looks like a up to day 64 like like if you printed that shit like that ass wow that's fire i like that that's that, that's like an amazing freaking damn idea right there yeah yeah, yeah you back you back from from uh, you know technical difficulties it's all, right. all right so look we got just you just uh up to speed but look at that bro look at how it looks and stuff the black one with the old games and shit and that shit looks official man yeah, all I can say is you better get the game. You could go online too. All I'm saying is y'all don't want it with me on 007 Golden Eye. Nah, nah, trust me. <laughs> if they, if they up, just, we're gonna, we gonna end up freaking damn doing it anyway, nigga, because this yeah. has my interest. Like this, like yeah. the other shit. This time, <laughs> people, you showed it to me. Yes, you caught my eye. I'm like, what? Yep. I could go old school and I could go wireless online. I would like to see how these games is gonna it says 4k so i would like to see how much 4k is gonna make the games look like on the screen it's gonna basically look like 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 how we got our ps you know the ps2 like you know how we got that hd like the the the, the wire that does it it's probably gonna be all that built in so you don't have so it's gonna look it's gonna look decent it's just not gonna look you know like it's a new game it's just gonna look crispy. It's not gonna look as a top of the it drops. Mm -hmm. it, it's, yeah, it's dropping October. That's what you're asking when it comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got pre order October. What was it again? Go it, already, it already started, I think. Yeah, October freaking, I think, 15th of 8th or something like that. Uh, that's what I want for Christmas now. Yeah, this has my interest to the point that it's but that like, shit don't come out. Like, like, I would consider grabbing, and it's not that crazy, but for it to be two fifty, and I'm not talking about. Hey, let me see the video. Let me see the controller look like. All right, yeah, that's what I was gonna go to next and stuff, but the the controller is oh, Bluetooth, yeah. so that's that's another. So it's not it's not built like the original N64 controller. Nope. It's like it's almost yeah. like an Xbox controller. That's what it looks like. Yeah, but then but it's, it's like yo, the hold up. But scroll, up. scroll up because I think it. You see in the front of it, it has to plug wire remotes into it. Wow. 
Why is which what, which port does it have? Cause I feel like on the does it have a USB. Cause I think it's the USB plug, and they the X sixty four remote for the computer. You could use that. See yeah. USB cable. You could use yeah. USB cables. You could use. Well, I have one. Yeah, you could probably use the M sixty four remote if you have it with the USB one. Yeah, I have that one. Yeah, so I play yeah. Super Mario all the time. That's what I'm saying. See, four K to some games are gonna see the unmistakable soul and CRT on your HD TV in four K. Uh, while very few modern upscalers have transformed the 2D era of video games with pixel perfect clarity, the N64 demands something far more radical. The unmistakable essence of a CRT analog 3D brings true CRT reference quality to your HD TV in 4K. Experience N64 with unmatched authenticity and zero. It's the N64 Reborn. So basically, they're hyping up to the point where it's like, you know, uh, it's looking like they're trying to say that it's going to look way better. Like, look at capturing the warmth, depth, and texture in every frame. The soft, yeah, glow, bro. vibrant That's colors, Im immersive scan lines, and shadow masks. This isn't just upscaling, it's an unprecedented transformation. <laughs> so they basically saying it's supposed to look way better than the original. So it's going to look like on some PS5 shit, Xbox yeah. One. Or nah, probably, PS4, uh, maybe. Probably or PS4, PS3. Yeah. yeah. It's going to look good, but you know, it's going to, it's still going to be the same game you already played. Yeah. You feel me? I can't wait to fight. Oh my God. You know how many wrestling games I used to love playing on that? WCW, NWO Revenge. The white, even, white looks it, like some old school kind of game system. Even cruising the world, bro. I used to love. Oh yeah, cruising exotica, cruising yeah. world. But I'm My shit, two rocks. One, double seven, golden eye. And the creation is now. Now I know why GameStop is coming back and doing retro games. So you're gonna probably be able to use the, the old school 64 remote, and you're gonna be able to use the the up to date remote. It's gonna be lit, bro. I can't wait. I want it. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I want that system. Me too, bro. Yeah, that system. You. That shit gonna make me feel like I, like back in the day, Christmas. Me, I got. I, I stay with my old school. I got my original PlayStation. I got my original Xbox. I got my original Nintendo. My N sixty four. One thing I want to get is a Dreamcast and a Sega Saturn. Yeah. Just like talking about old systems, this is just like one of those things that, that can bring back that type of like feel and, and experience like back in the day. And if they could do this to all the other systems, it would be so much official and beautiful oh, like, to see. Yeah, like you see, you see what they did with the with the Nintendo and the PlayStation? Yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah. And they fucked it up. This yes, this is definitely a, a, a an eye opener for for other if if it's the same for, for company or the company to yes. just like enhance and bring back old classics. Yeah, I love the classics, bro. I love the sixty four. I love. You can the, never go wrong with yeah. classics. They already they already did the Super Nintendo. They did the Nintendo. They did the say they did all of that. Can yeah, we get a can we get a dream Super Nintendo? Can we get a can can we get a new little Dreamcast? Can we get a Sega Saturn? You know what I'm saying? Like, Thank you. Listen, I will love. Listen, listen, listen. I will give my PS five in. If they were to do another PS2 and give me the the whole game library in it, this also bear like what he's saying. We preserving video game history with FPGA hardware. So Analog 3D was developed to mm -hmm. achieve unparalleled compatibility, engineered directly into a 220K LE Altera Cyclone 10GX, the most powerful FPGA analog has ever used in a product. We spent four years developing a perfect way to experience N64 and FPGA for absolute accuracy. N64 is infamous for its difficulties with within software emulation. 100% compatibility has never been achieved until now. Analog 3D is designed to preserve video game history with the respect it deserves. So basically they say, cause like the old system is true. Old systems used to like, uh, they used lag. to just like glitch and lag and oh, yeah, he's lag and glitch. Yeah. yeah, cause I got that on my computer, the the N sixty four one, and it always glitched. So I lag. could have, so think, think about this. Well, I could imagine, I could imagine me playing some motherfucker Zelda or Karina at time. Yeah, but look, 
imagine this you're playing the game right but imagine this remember how it was with n64 how it was before but think about how different it's gonna feel when they have all these enhancements where it runs smoother loading time is faster there's no and you can go online yeah you know when when you're walking or you're moving in a game and it does like a little slight freeze to yeah, that different kind of like a yeah, angle or or uh yeah, yeah. i know instead of just like a smooth transition now we'll be able to see probably smooth transitions for all those games back in the day so yeah like I'm no mercy in all those games when they doing like that yeah. slow-mo or their finisher and stuff it all looks so yeah. much better the crazy I'm, gonna is send y'all links. I'm gonna send y'all links my bro i'm gonna send y'all links. oh i remember Bro, COVID time, the prices on this shit was, bro, ridiculous. We did, thank you. No Mercy would have cost you 50 cent dollars. Thank you. Thank now, you. Now it's $30. Turok. 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 Yes. Turok. The second mm-hmm. Turok. See, it's a war. That yeah. shit cost $70. Mm-hmm. And I was like, right. yo, what the fuck? It's crazy, bro. It's a whole ass game, right? This is. Nah, I ain't paying no $70. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I'm telling y'all guys, if you don't go cop these games now, when that system come out, huh, you're gonna be tight. Because like, you can always cop the system, but the games is gonna cost you like three systems. <laughs> so you better yeah. start, you better start playing and looking for these games now while they still a little normal before people start snatching them all up. Exactly. So, all right, folks. You let us know in the comments section what you think of this new system reviving a video game classic console that is definitely unforgettable.